Something I've really enjoyed to do this year is to camp random locations all around the RuneScape on a PvP world, because you never really know what you're gonna expect and what you're gonna find. What fight, someone? Good fight. Oh, probably nothing. Nature runes. 66k and a lot of battle staffs. God damn it. I thought it had more. At the time of this recording, I was camping three different locations Wizards Guild, Falador, and Raids. Oh my god! Oh my god! Fury? Banners Add the bolts? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 13 mil PK? Oh my god! And something I noticed while peeking was that Jagex had accidentally disguised PvP worlds as non-PvP worlds. But they were very quick to fix this. And with that being said, I'd like to welcome you all to my 6th ever adventure video where I do anything and everything all around of RuneScape. Hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, found someone? Hello? Oh, I got a kill! Is that tentacle and he died for 1.5 mil. After getting that kill, I decided to challenge Oda Block to a high risk fight. What? I killed Oda Block. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 90 mil peak. Are you serious? <laughs> I don't want to look at the camera, bro. I don't want to look at the camera, I'm just gonna go down here, I... <laughs> I'm not gonna hide anything, we did do a tri-bridge stake for double or nothing after that. And he beat me, and he got all his money back. Uh, chill, chill with it, chill with it. Okay, go for rigor. Time, you get the, you get the uh, other guy. Smite it. You got him? He, the God of power killed him! <laughs> oh my god. Carol's top? 7.8 mil, the second best kill so far. There's this streamer called Wiggled and whenever he's streaming he kills a fisher and the viewers can guess how many feathers they have in their inventory and if anyone is correct they get 10 mil. So I'm gonna fake fish and try to get to 10 mil. 9639. We're guessing the feathers, he's gonna pick them up and he's gonna see 9639, look at them. <laughs> Got 10 mil! Look at the state of it. Can't believe I won't shut the fuck up. In the same stream, we managed to find someone at Dust Devils. And he's dead! Oh my god. What? Oh my god! 3.5 mil, holy shit. Sixty-seven K. And I killed them. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell? Eight hundred house teleports too. I didn't pick up everything. Two point six mil. That's not bad. So I really enjoy hunting people at the most random locations in game and if you enjoy this too, give this video a like. Hello, thank you so much Mr. Vote Mastery. Ooh, 400k. Didn't expect that. Who's the other guy? Oh, 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 my, oh my god. Oh my god. I thought we PK'd more but at least we got an archer swing. So 5.3 mil PK. Not bad. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's mine. Let's have a look at this beautiful. Wait, there you go. And that was a 5.5 mil PK. 
One of the best things about a PvP world hard crime is the fact that it's a worldwide scout. I found random people at the most random locations all the time. In this case, I found this guy selling items to the store. How many? 40k are... Kill him. 1.4 mil. If we get an item, I'm going for back to back. <laughs> oh, 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 back. Yeah. oh, what? I actually got <laughs> what? I guess I sacrificed my hard crime for a good cause. I actually killed someone here. Oh my god. Torax legs, dragon halberd, Verax sound coins. I've been scouting for so long to actually find someone. Is that all? Six, almost 600k. There are so many lures in PvP worlds and very frequently they are here in Barbarian Outpost. So I dressed up as a skiller and tried to bait them to attack me. Oh my god, I gotta see. Holy shit, I added it. What? <laughs> I pretended to be a skiller and he attacked me. D Ring of third age? B ring. This lure had no food. Oh my god, 11, almost 12 mil. Holy crap. In my last ever hardcore Iron Man video, I said this. If any content creator want to take on this challenge of creating a PvP world only hardcore Iron Man, you have my full blessing. But just know I'm gonna do everything in my power to hunt you down. And the first content creator who took on this challenge was a friend. So I created a brand new PKing account simply to hunt him down. But before I even started hunting a friend's hardcore Iron Man, I found another use for this account. Three years ago, I started collecting this list of very good PKers and streamers I want to take out from the game. The list is very long and I have still three names I want to take out. The PvP tournament winner, Money, The Dead Man Mode winner, Fool's Justice. And the Blazers clan leader, Wiggled. And today, I had the chance to take out Wiggled on my brand new account. Oh my god, I got him! <laughs> I killed Wiggled! <gasps> you fucking... Yeah, CNG just baited me. C Engineer just told my friend to tell me that there's a hardcore in Ardy. So I logged into Ardy to check if there was a hardcore. And it's fucking C Engineer. Like, he's such a snake. Such a fucking snake. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I got him! I got Wiggled! Oh my... Look at that 1.2 mil! <laughs> I got him! I got him! I wanted him. I'm so happy. I know that was a sheep kill, but what do you guys think? Does that count as a kill? Can I cross off Wiggle from the list or uh, do I have to kill his main? Because I know he's gonna play Deadman mode next week and I could potentially take him out there instead. Is he trying to lure me? Look at him! Look at him! He was trying to lure me. And he's dead. What was that? Coins? He had nothing. Every now and then I try to come up with a new exciting idea for the channel. This idea right here is my biggest fail so far so I felt like sharing. I was pretending to be training mage in Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. These tunnels are always full so sometimes PVMers come to PvP worlds and the PKers PK them. So the plan was simple. Tell block the PKer and then de-skim spec him so the monkeys can kill the person using a melee. But then I realized the monkeys are aggro on me so the PKers are safe and of course I died. And before we end, I'm gonna answer the one question everyone has been asking since my Hardcore Iron Man died. What happens now? So I have a Hardcore Iron Man series planned out, but if I start a Hardcore Iron Man right now, I'm probably gonna die because I'm not gonna focus. So I'm gonna keep my new Hardcore Iron Man series for 
maybe three months in the future. And for the next week, I'm gonna fully focus on Deadman mode.